Today, we're going to give you an overview of the different tools that make it easy for developers to work with MongoDB. We'll talk about the MongoDB Atlas command line interface, the MongoDB shell, MongoDB Compass, the MongoDB for VS Code extension, and the MongoDB Analyzer for .NET. Let's get started. The Atlas CLI is the fastest way to create and manage resources on MongoDB Atlas and related products like Atlas Search. To get started, you'll use Homebrew to install the Atlas CLI if you're on Mac OS. Your first command, brew install mongodb-atlas, will download and install the Atlas CLI for you. Next, Atlas Setup will help you register for your account and sign in. The process will look different depending on if you are already a MongoDB Atlas customer or not. You'll need to copy and paste your verification code into a separate screen that opens automatically in your browser. Using our interactive startup wizard, you'll be able to create your first free cluster on MongoDB Atlas and load it with sample data. Know that it can take up to several minutes to load your sample data. You can access the MongoDB shell directly from the Atlas CLI. See here how we can use the shell to start exploring our sample geospatial data on shipwrecks. Now, let's exit the shell and go back to exploring how to use the Atlas CLI to manage our Atlas database. It's easy to manage your cluster using the Atlas CLI. You can create, update, or delete database users from the command line. The Atlas CLI lets you create a new cluster or pause or delete an existing cluster and view available indexes. You can create or delete serverless instances and monitor their status. And you can manage your private endpoints in the cloud. One really cool thing about the Atlas CLI is that it gives you access to Atlas Search. For example, you can create an index and use it to optimize searches against your sample collection. To check out all the different commands you can use with the Atlas CLI, try entering atlas-help to explore. Next, we'll talk about the MongoDB shell. The MongoDB shell is the quickest way to connect to MongoDB and work with your data. Let's start by installing the shell using Homebrew. Remember that you can also access the shell directly from the Atlas CLI. Now that the shell is installed, we can connect to our MongoDB Atlas deployment using a connection string. In the MongoDB shell, in addition to auto-completing methods, we can also auto-complete commands like show and use. Let's check out our sample guides database to take a look at the planets in our solar system. As you're learning to use the shell, you'll get contextual help along the way. Here, I'm trying to create an index that covers the query I am about to write but I can never remember the syntax of the create index command. Fortunately, the MongoDB shell helps me here by showing me what the command does and how to use it. If I make a mistake when typing my commands, the shell will give me a helpful error message. Right now I'm trying to see what planets come after Earth in the solar system. I know that Earth is third from the sun, so I'm going to query for planets that are third place or greater from the sun and put them in order. But I misspelled the find command. The error message helps me figure this out so I can re-enter my query correctly. Now that I've fixed my query, I can see that my output is pretty by default and syntax highlighted to make it easier to read. One big use case for the shell is scripting and automation of your MongoDB deployments. Because the shell is written on top of the Node.js REPL, it is a very powerful scripting environment. Here, I'm creating a constant called results and assigning the output of a new query to that constant. I'm looking for all the planets that have rings, and I want to display just the name of the planet whether or not it has rings, and the order from the sun. After assigning my query output to the results variable, I can show the results in a table format to make it more readable. You can also use snippets to extend the functionality of the shell. Let's run a search for all the available snippets in our snippets registry. Now we're going to install a snippet to analyze the schema of our planets collection. We can take a look at our fields in the collection to spot any data inconsistencies. Next, we'll take a look at MongoDB Compass. Compass is a downloadable GUI for managing and querying your data in MongoDB. You can use Compass whether you're deployed in the cloud with MongoDB Atlas or on-premises. First, let's connect to Compass using the connection string for our Atlas cluster. I notice I've started out with the Compass light theme, but this feels a little hard on my eyes. 
So I'll go up to the menu bar and switch to dark theme. Now let's run a simple query. I'm looking at a database of Airbnb listings. I'm trying to find a deal on a fun getaway with five of my closest friends. So I'm looking at the document tab and filtering to find listings that accommodate six or more people. I see there are more than 900 listings that meet the criteria set by my query. Next, I'd like to do something a little more complex and narrow things down further. Let's build an aggregation pipeline in our aggregations tab. I'll look for listings that accommodate six or more people and sort them by price from lowest to highest to try and find the best deal. And I'll use the project stage so I can limit the number of fields I display. Looking at this now, it seems like there are some good deals in Barcelona, Spain, and Montreal, Canada. I can export the complete results of my aggregation as a JSON or CSV file. I can also look at an explain plan to evaluate the performance of my aggregation. If I want to use an aggregation pipeline like this in my application, I can click the Export to Language button here and export the pipeline to the programming language I am using. I can also save my aggregation to use again in Compass later. I'll be able to access it later from the My Queries tab on the left. While I won't go into all the different capabilities Compass has, you should know that Compass also makes it easy to analyze your schema, get a visual explain plan of the performance of your queries, create indexes, and add validation rules to enforce your data model. Next up, let's take a look at the MongoDB for VS Code extension. The MongoDB for VS Code extension lets you connect to your MongoDB deployment and develop new applications on MongoDB right from VS Code. Go to the Extensions tab in VS Code to download the MongoDB extension. Once it's installed, use your Atlas connection string to connect to your MongoDB Atlas deployment. Once you're connected, it's easy to navigate through your different collections on MongoDB. You can also see your schema and available indexes. You can also access the MongoDB shell from VS Code by right-clicking on your database. Now let's take a look at the Playgrounds feature. Playgrounds are an excellent way to prototype CRUD operations and other MongoDB commands before implementing them in your code. MongoDB makes it easy to get started by giving you a ready-made template for your first playground. Let's take playgrounds for a spin. I'm looking at a database of movies called Mflix, and I want to find all the movies by my favorite director, Sidney Pollock. You can see here that playgrounds give me helpful usability features like syntax highlighting. When I hit the play button, I can see what my results will look like. Now, if I want to use my aggregation in an application I am building, MongoDB again makes this easy for me by letting me export the aggregation to the programming language of my choice. See here how I can highlight my aggregation and translate it to the equivalent code in Java. Pretty cool, right? Now let's take a look at the MongoDB Analyzer for .NET. This tool helps you understand and troubleshoot queries and aggregations in Visual Studio. First, let's install the MongoDB Analyzer as a NuGet package. One issue that c -sharp and .NET developers commonly run into is not knowing if their builder or link expressions are supported by the MongoDB query API. The MongoDB Analyzer helps with this. Here, I'm using a builder in c -sharp to create an object called filter. By hovering over the three gray dots under my expression, I can find my tooltip from the MongoDB Analyzer. This tooltip shows the MongoDB query API language that corresponds to the expression I'm writing and helps me confirm that the query being generated is the one that I expect. The Analyzer also helps me look under the hood at other builders' expressions and identify unsupported expressions. I can do the same thing for my link queries. I just go to my link expression and hover over the three gray dots. 
Then the MongoDB analyzer shows me the query API language that corresponds to my link expression, so I can make sure it's working the way that I intended. Now I'm going to try typing in a new expression. I'm trying to use get hash code to use an object as a key in a hash table, but this method isn't supported by MongoDB, so I'll see an error to help me figure out where I went wrong. We can take a look at some other types of expressions that the MongoDB analyzer can flag for us in Visual Studio so we can identify and resolve errors in our code. These different capabilities of the MongoDB analyzer for .NET make it great for debugging and providing immediate feedback inside Visual Studio. MongoDB's ecosystem of developer tools makes it easy to build best-in-class applications. Get started with MongoDB developer tools by clicking one of the download links in the description that accompanies this video. Thanks for joining us, and happy coding!